After watching this video, you will know exactly which deductible to choose for your health insurance in Switzerland. To give you the best answer, I went through over 3000 health insurance offers across Switzerland. And I also included a few bonus tips, so stay tuned until the end of the video. Also, this video is part of my series for basics of Swiss personal finance. In this series, I'm covering everyday questions regarding insurance, banking, investing and saving money in Switzerland. So if you're interested to see more similar videos, go check out my other videos on this topic as well. But back to the video. Health insurance is something that everyone needs to deal with in Switzerland. This is because the way Switzerland has organized its healthcare system. And it works slightly different than many other countries. For example, in Germany, the healthcare costs are part of the taxes. But in Switzerland, every person has to pay their own health insurance. Due to this system, health insurance is one of the major monthly expenses for most people, right after the rent. There are three main items that impact the price of your basic health insurance. One, the place where you live. If you live in Zurich, you will pay a different price than if you live, for example, in Zug or in Geneva. Second, the health insurance provider and especially their offered insurance model. The insurance model dictates your first point of contact in case of illness. For example, you may have a free choice of doctor or you may need to call your insurance company first. And third, the amount of deductible you choose. You can choose from six different options. 300, 500, 1000, 1500, 2000 or 2500 francs per year. The higher the deductible, the more you need to pay before the insurance covers anything. But on the flip side, you have to pay lower monthly premiums with higher deductible. To keep this video short, I'm going to focus on choosing the right deductible for you. When I came to Switzerland for the first time, I was facing the issue of choosing the deductible for my health insurance. At the time, I did not properly know how the system works, so I had to go with my gut feeling and I went and chose the highest deductible. The reasoning behind this was simple. The highest deductible provided the lowest monthly costs. But I never looked into if this is really the smartest choice for myself. Now, for this video, I decided to dive deep into the data and actually understand what would be the best option. For this one, I collected every single health insurance offer in 21 major cities around Switzerland. And for each of the offers, I made a calculation for different healthcare costs from 0 to 10,000 francs. I did this to see which deductible would have been the most cost efficient for each situation. For the calculation, I also took into account the mandatory co-payment. This is something that you have to pay on top after you maxed out your deductible. The co-payment comes from the law and is currently 10% of the costs beyond your deductible. However, to prevent the excessive costs, it is capped to 700 francs per year. This means that the most you would pay out of the pocket for your healthcare costs is between 1000 and 3200 francs depending on your deductible. After doing the calculation for the health insurance offers, there were two main results that became obvious. One, there were not a single scenario where the deductibles between the highest and lowest would have made sense. Regardless of the annual costs, the highest and the lowest deductible were always the best options when taking into account both monthly premiums and the healthcare costs. This means that you should always choose either the lowest or the highest deductible. I'll run examples of the results for different cities on the screen. Feel free to stop the video if you want to have a longer look for some specific city. As mentioned earlier, the lower the deductible, the higher your monthly payments are, and vice versa. Often heard rule of thumb when choosing the deductible is that if you're a healthy person who haven't needed a doctor for years, you would be the best off choosing the highest deductible. And if you will have more frequent need for a visit to doctor, you would be better off with the lowest deductible. This leads to our second finding. Where does the actual threshold lie between the two alternatives according to the data? If you had a closer look at the data earlier, you would have noticed that the threshold was varying slightly. But most of the time, it was around 1,700 to 2,000 francs per year. Therefore, if your annual healthcare costs are below this limit, the cheapest option for you would be the highest deductible regardless of the insurance provider or your location. On the other hand, if your healthcare costs are higher than, let's say, 1,800 francs per year, you would be better off with the lowest deductible. Myself, I've been lucky that I haven't needed to visit the doctor often. Over the four years where I've been in Switzerland, I have only once done a checkup on my allergies. In my case, the checkup consisted of a quick chat with the doctor and a basic lung function test. And this visit cost me about 150 francs. And I needed to pay it myself as it was below my deductible. Therefore, my initial gut feeling about highest deductible being the best one for me 
has been correct. As I said in the beginning, I also have a few tips that you can use to optimize your situation about the health insurance in Switzerland. First one is that the deductible is calculated per calendar year. This is an important information to know so that you don't accidentally shoot yourself in the leg, so to speak. If you would have treatments that run over to the following year, they only account to the year that they were actually given. So the worst case scenario could look something like this. You haven't used any of your deductible during the year, but then decide to go for a checkup in December. Your doctor finds something, but it's inconclusive and he needs to run more tests. As finding time to do the test around the holiday season takes time, some of the tests are done in December and some are done in January. Luckily for you, the doctor doesn't find anything bad and his concerns were just a false alarm. However, once you receive the bills, you're about to have a heart attack. You realize that you had to pay the deductible and the co-payments for previous year and the following year. And all this just because of the timing. If you had decided to do the checkup only in January, you would have been charged for the deductible only once. Therefore, if you haven't used your deductible at the end of the year, it might make sense to postpone the checkups until January the following year. However, it goes without saying, if you're having some serious medical issues, you should obviously go see the doctor right away. It is your health that is online after all. Second tip is the fact that you can change your deductible each year. If you want to increase or decrease your deductible, you will need to inform your insurance provider around the end of November. This way, you will have your new deductible effective from the beginning of January the next year. This opens up some possibilities. If you're planning on larger checkups that are not time critical, you should be able to do the following. In November, you can reduce your deductible to the minimum for the following year. Then, you do all your checkups and treatments during that year. And finally, you increase the deductible back to the maximum after the year is done. This way, with little effort, you can make some savings for yourself. And then my third tip. If you are from a country with a lower healthcare cost, it might make sense to do the smaller annual checkups or treatments at your home country. In this case, you would pay the treatments in your home country without insurance straight out of the pocket. This is especially the case if you're using the highest deductible for your health insurance and haven't used the insurance during the year. Therefore, you would be benefiting from the lower healthcare costs of your home country versus the higher costs in Switzerland because you would be anyway paying it out of your own pocket. And then the last tip, which is probably the most important one. The basic health insurance is not going to be enough for you. You will need to have a supplementary insurance as well. There are multiple nice to have reasons why you might want to have a supplementary insurance, but there is also one that makes it a must have. This is due to the fact that the emergency transportation coverage with the basic health insurance is not going to be enough for you. The basic health insurance covers only 50% of the cost of an ambulance ride and only up to 500 francs per year. These figures are from decades ago and don't really reflect the current reality. The cost of ambulance ride, for example, for a heart attack may vary between 1 and 2,000 francs. This would leave you with an additional bill of 1,500 francs on top of your deductible and the co-payment. To keep this video short, I won't go more into details of supplementary insurance, but I will also cover this kind of topic in my future videos. Hopefully the video provided some useful information for you, and if you liked it, I hope you go check out my other video next.